the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name's Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to take your modded PlayStation Vita and turn it into a portable arcade, uh, you know, little cabinet or system. And what I mean by that is, we're going to be using a program called RetroArch, which is basically a emulator for a multitude of, you know, classic consoles and also arcade cabinets. Um, some prerequisites I like to state uh, before I get into the video, what you need and all that fine stuff. You either need a PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation TV that is modded for this method, whether it be a Hancock or whether it's on Hankaku, excuse me, H on Core or Hankaku Enzo from firmware 3.60 to 3.68. Uh, I know uh, just recently the flow has stated that he is going to release his exploits later on for 3.69 and 3.70 firmware. So when that comes out and you can, you know, enable Hankaku using whatever method he has, I know with some like the PSP demos and he has found like a sandbox with that method for like a Hancock exploit that means you could also use this uh you know process but until then it, this is just only for 3.60 and 3.68 uh what you also need in this video is vita shell for basically to transfer files and install them like vpks you also need files Jello or your actual usb cable to connect to the pc for f transferring files in this case i'm going to be using uh filezilla and also in this video, the only thing you need is the RetroArch VPK. So I'm gonna show you guys where to get that from and where to download it. So I'm gonna switch back my screen off from the Vita main menu back to my um, PC. Okay, so let me open up Chrome. What you wanna do is, is go ahead and type in this website. Uh, the website will be in the link in the description at the bottom. So you could just copy and paste from that way or pause the video and then see the website here. But now uh, this is RetroArch. You wanna go ahead and go to the PlayStation Vita slash TV and go ahead and hit download to download 1.7.6 uh, RetroArch VPK. Go ahead, once you do that, transfer the VPK over to your desktop. And then now what you wanna do, uh, whatever games you want to basically put on RetroArch or on your PlayStation Vita, go ahead and make separate folders. And what I mean by that is, for example, I have a couple of Super Nintendo games, and I'll show you right here. And I only, you can install, you know, thousands upon thousands of, you know, games for each, you know, retro console per se. But just for this tutorial, I decided to just have maybe four or five games in each set just to make this a little faster. But what you want to do, for example, if you were doing Super Nintendo games, for example, go ahead, put all your games in one folder and just name it SNES. Same thing with the NES one. If you got Nintendo games, just go ahead and put all your NES games. If you got Sega Genesis, Atari, such and such and such. So that's what I did for this process to make it easier. The reason why I do it in this process, so when you go ahead and transfer the files over from uh, Vita Shell or to Vita Shell, I should say, everything is in you know an organized format. But with that being said, once you get all your games and you know your pre made folders, what you want to do now is go ahead and go to FileZilla. If you don't have that, I'll show you how to install that on a uh, basically in the description too. It's just basically a FTP client uh, thing. But now I'm going to go back to my PS Vita to show you guys on how to basically boot up your FTP server real quick. All right, so the Vita should pop back on the screen. Go ahead, and most people should have Vita Shell. If you don't have Vita Shell, I'll leave a link in the description too for new Hankaku uh, owners and stuff. But with that being said, go ahead and open up Vita Shell for this process. And now what you wanna do is hit start and then select so if your thing is not on a select button on usb go ahead and toggle via the d-pad and then you could switch your ftp server select is basically starting it up uh, just remember your ip or just look at it and then what you want to do now is go ahead and back out and then we're going to go back to filezilla so in this case i already have my ip and port typed in the port for the vita is always 1337 and then your IP will be different from mine. But with that being said, uh, 
once you have uh, typed in your IP and hit quick connect you should get uh, the directories for your basically your Vita now what you want to do is go ahead to your PC and now from here you want to go ahead and drag and drop RetroArch to UX0 and also you want to drag all your game files to here just to save some time I'm not going to do this step since I've already done it here and once you transfer your files in uh, FileZilla you should get a notification and also on the um, server transfer list you should see a little tab called successful transfers and depending how many files and games you transferred over you should get um, you know a statement that says these uh, certain files has been successfully transferred over if they failed um, you can just redo them by right clicking and they will have a redo option and it will try to resend it to the server if you're doing the files other way but with that being said what you want to do is go back to your Vita and I'm gonna go switch back real quick now you can turn off your server off your Vita and now in UX0 once you if you transfer over the files correctly you should see a RetroArch VPK in this case go ahead and click X to install the package like any normal VPK it may take a little while on my end to do this process so I may just pause the video right here and then come back until it's done but once it's done on my end then I'm gonna show you how to basically load up the games and all that fun stuff so I'll meet you back once this process is done okay so RetroArch for me uh, finished installing but before we even go into RetroArch just make sure your, your whatever games you have in your pre-made folders for example my NES folder or my NES games are in my NES folder for example as you see here if I scroll down the second gen you see all my second Genesis games and for SNES you see my SNES games but once you have all of that said and done go ahead back out of Vita shell and then find RetroArch wherever in your live area in this case it's right here for me and now you want to boot it up for the first time and now I'll basically give you like a little quick preview on how to basically find your games and all that quick stuff so what you want to do circle is basically X and X is basically circle it's kind of like the Japanese uh, like how Japanese systems are for like PlayStation 2 and certain Japanese games so if you ever played um, Vita games and Japanese or PS3 games or even PS4 you know how like the system works circles X and X is circle type thing but with that being said go ahead and hit circle and then you'll see when you when you hit load core excuse me you'll see all of the arcade and all the emulators you can run so there's DOS there's the Microsoft MSX they got the Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance different types of uh, emulators for the SNES the Virtual Boy a lot of cool stuff they even got one for the PlayStation right now so that makes me very excited too for, you know having a Vita and me able to play classic PS1 games but with that being said let's say if you want to go ahead and run SNES games you can choose any of these emulators that say NES SNES excuse me press circle your screen will turn black for a second don't worry your Vita ain't died or anything it just takes a second to load up the core and now what you want to go to is load content and now basically you want to go ahead and find wherever your content is remember UX0 is your memory card so when we transfer the files over FileZilla that's where the files originally at so go ahead and hit UX0 and since the reason why I told you before go ahead and name your folders into you know certain uh, for certain game systems for example since we loaded up the Super Nintendo core I have my games in the SNES folder that way when you go ahead and select your game it's gonna boot up so for example I'm gonna go ahead and run uh, Super Mario World and then hit circle again for whatever uh, you know core and as you see and you could probably hear because I'm putting my Vita to the screen right now you could probably see me uh, playing Super Mario World if you want to back out of Vita Show you want to go ahead and hit L R and then select and start and basically you could close the content take a screenshot do save states low save states there's a bunch of options for overlay you could use cheats and turn to FPS and all that you know the more functions into the emulator I'm not gonna get into all of that since it takes a little bit of time but I'll show you uh, another example to go ahead and 
for to basically boot up another game so X is if you want to go back out hit X but if you want to load content I'm just going to show you guys real quick I'm going to run a classic NES game I'm going to run 1942 and then it's going to boot up it may take a little while depending on what game but as you see here now you can play any of your you know classic type games on your PlayStation Vita and now even if you got you know OBS set up to you know live stream games now you can play classic games on you know a pretty nice screen with that being said my name is Nagato and I'm signing out if y'all guys have any questions on how to install this or you know just want to leave a like uh, make sure you know comment it below I usually try to um read all the comments when I'm free and try to you know contact y'all guys because I do really appreciate y'all um, I just recently hit 100 subscribers. I think I'm at 103. So I really thank everyone who has been basically retweeting my stuff out, who has been liking it, you know, giving me suggestions and, you know, constructive criticism because it's only going to make me better. With that being said, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching.